in this video. This Bitcoin consolidation is getting very ridiculous na. It's getting very long. And as you can see, we are still consolidating within this daily time frame chart. Same goes with the shorter time frames. And let's talk about that in today's video. Stay tuned to know more. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. But anyway, let's now dive into this video and siguro let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So for the very short term, may dalawa tayong pag-uusapan yung short term sa ka long term or medyo mid term siya. But yeah, dalawa pag-uusapan natin. So pag-uusapan muna natin yung short term. So for the short term, as you can see, Diba previously, nagkaroon tayo ng falling wedge forming within the within the 15 minute time frame or early time frame. And then diba sabi ko sa inyo, if you want to trade this, itong falling wedge na yan, we must wait for a bullish breakout in order for us to confirm a move. Kasi if walang, walang breakout by volume, then of course, that is not a confirmed move. So as you can see, if you're going to look at this, siguro in the early time frame, you can see na hindi tayo nagkaroon ng breakout. What instead happened is we saw this continuation movement to the downside. And yeah. So, since walang breakout, di natin siya tinraid. And yun yung nangyari. Nagtumuloy-tuloy siya pababa. Some people would say na meron din tayo dito na nag-form na, na, ano, na double top. Ito, may double top to dito. Nakita ko lang to actually nung may nag-point out sa comment section. Nung binasa ko yung comment section kagabi na may double top. But yeah, nag-breakdown na siya. Saka, saka ko lang nabasa yun. But yeah, that is also valid. May, put, may dalawang double top dito. And as you can see, we are still going down dito with the Bitcoin price action. But I think right now, this is a next move na pwede mo i-watch out. Kasi if you're going to look at this within the early time frame, you can see na we are forming a bullish divergence wherein the price is declining while RSI is increasing. So in this case, if this is a bullish divergence, then this could be potential trend reversal movement to the upside. I think what we can watch out is around the $19,885 as a potential movement for us to go back. As you can see, meron tayong, I know, you can see that this is a falling channel then. And then in that case, if you're going to target dito, initially, ang magiging target talaga dyan is the 19,600 US dollars. If you're going to see that bullish breakout. But yeah, we can actually watch out these two areas dito, especially na this is a bullish divergence forming within the early time frame. And yeah, those are the very short term trades na gagawin natin. And take note, I'll be opening those trades dito sa ating Bybit account. And make sure to follow our copy trade account. It's also available in the description down below. So yeah, we'll try to take advantage of those trades as much as possible. But yun yung nakikita natin dito for the very short term dito with the Bitcoin price action. In yung, it could actually just continue this consolidation movement dito, itong pump and dump movement dito within the early time frame. So that is what we are going to monitor right now with the Bitcoin price action. Zooming out naman dito with the Bitcoin price action, if you're going to look at this within the daily time frame, matagal ko na ito sinasabi sa inyo na meron tayong falling wedge na mas malaki. At the same time, may resistance tayo within the 100-day moving average. At the same time, meron din tayong RSI na divergent. So, I know, price is declining while RSI is increasing. So, that is a traditional sign of a bullish trend reversal. It's just a matter of time lang talaga kung kailan tayong makita ng breakout. But it could just actually still potentially follow this movement pa din. And as you can see, yung ating potential time frame dito can actually take around roughly around the end of October. So, medyo matagal-tagal tong consolidation to na actually. So, if tatanawin nyo kung ano yung pinakang best time talaga na magkakaroon ng breakout, siguro within the next two more weeks pa, if you're going to look at the time frame dito sa ating sa ating chart, ayun o, yung time frame sa baba, October 20, more likely yung possible area na pwede natin makita siyang breakout. But yeah, super tagal pa nito. So for now, nagko-consolidate pa, abang-abang lang tayo. Yung mga big trades, wala muna tayo sa mga big trades, puro small trades muna tayo. And that is what we are going to take advantage for the short term dito with the Bitcoin price action. Pero ayun guys, as you can see, very quick update lang tayo kasi yun nga, yun lang naman yung pwede natin pag-usapan ngayon for the time being. And wala naman iba pa pwede mapag-usapan dyan within the very short term. But yeah, if you find this video useful and informative, Please give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.